Hey guys, today on Know Your Produce, we're making vegan stuffing with mushrooms and artichokes. It's full of flavor. People are gonna be shocked when they ask for the recipe and you tell them that it's completely vegan. So first, we're gonna use some day-old bread. I'm using fresh bread instead of buying those preservative-filled packages in the store. You don't know what's in them. There's a lot of stuff that you can't pronounce. This is just day-old bread and we're just chopping it up into bite-sized pieces using a serrated knife, and then I'm gonna plop it right onto a big sheet pan and then toast it in the oven. We kinda wanna make them look like a crouton so they soak up all the ingredients we're gonna put on them. Now in a large skillet, I'm going to take the traditional veggies that you usually would see, which are celery and onions, which are always in stuffing, and then I'm adding our additions, which are mushrooms, and then I'm using frozen artichoke hearts. I like to chop them up. I don't like canned, I prefer the frozen, they're much better. And then I'm also using some vegan butter. And then we're just gonna cook these down a little bit. You want that butter to melt and these veggies just to get soft and tender, which are perfect for the stuffing. The seasoning I'm using is poultry seasoning. No worries, there's no poultry in there. And we're also using a little bit of pepper. And then we're just gonna cook that all together until they cook down. Once they're cooked down, we're gonna add it to our, look, croutons. <laughs> no, they're the bread cubes that we bake. So we're just gonna let them absorb all of those flavors. This is gonna really get into that bread that's stale now and really toasted, and it's gonna rehydrate it. We're also using some vegan Parmesan cheese. I like follow your heart. And then we're also using Imagine No Chicken Broth. I find that this broth is really great. If a recipe that you used to make called for chicken broth, this is a great alternative and it tastes just as good with this. And then we're just gonna mix those bread cubes and make sure it's got all the flavors from those vegetables and all the flavor from the stock. So what it's just doing right now is marinating in there and getting all of those bread cubes soaking up with that flavor. And then we're just gonna pour it right into our baking dish. I'm using one with handles. Um, you could also even put this into muffin liners and make like little stuffing muffins, which are super fun for the kids. I mean, even adults grab those up. And it will be a little bit more crunchy, so if you like a crunchier stuffing, Stuff and muffins are a good thing to try if you like that. Now I'm just gonna make sure I'm patting this down. I want it to be nice and level because I don't want big chunks on the top to burn or anything. So I just wanna make sure it's nice and even so I'm leveling it out using my spatula and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. Nice and golden on top. It is perfect and ready to serve. This is one of our absolute favorites for the holidays. It's a must make and I just love stuffing. I could stuff myself on this alone. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Give me this in mashed potatoes and I am a happy camper. We hope you like and enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you soon.